If you wanna visit Cancun or any all-inclusive hotel, then today I'm gonna to give you the exact tips that I did to not gain any weight or gain any fat. Now, a couple times a year, we plan a family vacation where we're just literally forced to be all together all day, all night, 24 seven, because you know how it gets when you're here. You're super busy, you know, you got the kids things, we got our work, we got our workouts, like it just becomes from a day to night event. And so we really have to just get away to detach from it all. When we go to these trips, we don't just plan the week prior, we actually plan five to six weeks out. And generally we'll book our trips after a belly burn. So then we're focused with all the members. It keeps us accountable, but we usually start a week prior and then we book the trip the week after. So we actually get six weeks. And what we do is we focus on dropping as much body fat and as much weight as possible because in the end, we always wanna to come to zero. So the secret to this right away is that if you can lose 10 pounds prior to going and if you gain 10 pounds, you're gonna come back at zero. And it only take you a couple of days to really lose all the water weight or whatever fat that you've gained to get you back to where you started. But when we got out there, I gotta tell everybody, and it's funny because you see the people on their first day. The next day they're like, oh, I ate something bad or I feel sick and blah, blah, blah. Well, they get there, they come from Winnipeg where we haven't seen the sun in months. And they lay in the sun from morning to night. They're completely roasted like lobsters. Then they're drinking like these sugary drinks, all these different drinks, and then they're going to the buffet and they're eating all this stuff that's just like destroying their stomach and their insides all at once. And so for us, seeing this, we pace ourselves. So we never get to the point of starving. We, we, we never starve out in these all-inclusives. In fact, we're probably overfed. And yes, I know we are overfed, but we never get to the point of where we're feeling stuffed. And so when you're eating, and it doesn't matter if you're sitting with the family, and here's the problem when we go to these all-inclusive trips is that we go and fill up our plate. We're like, oh, I want that. And we just take way too much portions. Like the plates that we have when we go out there, if you saw my plate, I would have 10 different things. Imagine you're eating at a fancy restaurant. The fancy restaurants, all they do is they give you one little like thing, right? Like you get one thing and then it's just decorated nicely. When you go to these all-inclusives, do the exact same thing where you just like take a little bit of pasta, you take one chicken nugget, you take like four French fries, you put just a little bit of gravy, you have like one slice of pizza. You don't need three slices of pizza with a full plate of fries. Like there's enough food there. You can always go back. And in fact, if you eat all your food on that little, that you have like little portions, you can figure out what it is that you want to eat again. And you can go and get more of that after you finish this and you're going to get more steps. So that's the second tip is that when you do your plates, you don't have to put on like you're sitting down in a family dinner and everybody's fighting for the same meal. You can literally just put a dab, nobody's judging you. You can put a little dab, try everything that you like, then you can go back for seconds and then you can eat to the point where you're not stuffed. Now the other thing is that when it comes to booze and when it comes to the food, like when we go eat the food, sure we can be eating chicken and like healthier stuff with salads, but the problem is you can still eat too much of the healthy foods. Like it's all about calorie in, calorie out. So when it comes to the booze and the food, we have to make a balance, okay? Now, you wanna eat clean with your food and eat small portions because you're gonna get your calories from the booze, right? Like one ounce of vodka is around 90 calories. Now you factor in all the like sugar that they put in there with the fruits and this and that, like you're looking probably at around three to 400 calories for just one drink. If you go to the buffet and you grab yourself a bunch of fried foods and you overfill your plate, like most of us do, then now you've just stacked on food calories and you're stacking on the booze calories. So what I tell you, if you plan on boozing that day, then if you get into the booze and you get to the food, keep the food all protein. Just eat to eat food that's gonna keep your body balanced. And then this will give you more flexibility out to, to booze. But if you're gonna pig out one day and just eat a ton of food, then I would tell you to limit the booze or keep the booze fairly clear. Don't get into the fancy drinks that's got a bunch of sugars and calories. Just have the booze, get your buzz, relax, whatever it is, but keep the two separate. So you either have the sugary drinks and then you have clean food or you have the dirty food, but you have a clean drink. Then when it comes to these resorts, they're so huge, right? Like to go from one end to the other, takes you like 15 minutes. So make it a point for you to walk from one building to the other side and walk back. Make it your goal that even while you're out there that you get 10,000 steps. 
Yes, you want to work on your tan, but yes, you can work on your tan by going for a walk on the beach. In fact, that's what you're paying for is to be on the beach. So why not go for a walk on the beach and get your steps and get your tan. So try to move as much as you possibly can. A lot of us, like me and the kids, we played in the ocean a lot. We were jumping, we we're swimming, we we're keeping ourselves active. That's another way that you can do. Don't just lay poolside and have your margarita and have your sunglasses on and try to nap all day. You are there to rest and recover, but you don't need to rest and recover every day, all day for seven days. I'm telling you, you can get up, you can move around. And then lastly, and this is a huge one for me, is that we visit the gym every single day. And it was actually really hard until we got into a routine and we had to establish when our routine was. So ideally, we would have liked to drop the kids off to the kids club for a couple hours, do our workout, pick them up, then go for breakfast. But unfortunately, or fortunately, we were sleeping like nine to 10 hours. So even myself, I wasn't rolling out of bed till like 8.30, nine o'clock and the kids, you know, nine o'clock and then you got to get them ready. But the thing is the buffet closes at 11. And so we tried that once we missed breakfast and we said never again. You know why? Cause I love waffles. So we then had to reorganize our schedule where we would go and work out before dinner. Okay. Now the nice things about these resorts is that most people, there's 2000 people there. There's only one gym and there's usually nobody in the gym. So you're the person from the fit fam. That's going to be the one person in the gym. And we just brought the kids in there. They have their phones. They sat in the corner away from other people. You know, they didn't, they, nobody really minded. In fact, there was never anybody in there at six. You gotta remember these guys are nine to five workers as well. So the workers that are at the front desk, they're gone by five. So if you can get in there at six and just get a quick pump, do exercise that you like, that's gonna help you to keep the 10 pounds off. It's gonna help you to actually turn a lot of those calories into muscle. So you'll be able to come back with a little bit more muscle but you're also gonna be able to stay on track with your goals. Now, I know that was a long story and there's a lot of tips in there. And so I appreciate you for paying attention to the end, but these all inclusives, I have seen that they can make or break people, especially when people go for two weeks and they work really hard to get there and then they get out there and they completely let themselves go. A lot of people can't rebound from that. Like it takes, it takes months for them to lose what they've gained in two weeks. So this time around, when you go on your next all inclusive trip, Make sure that you take these tips and make sure that you're you know, being cognitive of your movement, of your booze versus your, your food. And then also get into the gym and work out like every single day, even if it's only 20 minutes. Now, if you guys are looking to do a fitcation workout with myself and a bunch of the other members, we have about five spots as of the filming of this video. You can contact us. You can either just like contact me directly or go to our website, www.fitclub.fit and mention the Fitcation. It's gonna be a half day of workouts. In the evening, we're gonna be doing salsa lessons with one of the best salsa dancers in Canada. She's gonna be flying out there with us. You're gonna to get to work out with me in the morning. You're gonna to get to dance with us in the evening. It's gonna be so much fun. Fitcation 2024.